Hello everyone, Get the Soul here back for another video. In this video, we are going to be looking into why there is no communication with someone or a lack thereof. So you can use this in the romantic sense, but um, you can also go above that. And this could be in relation to a family member, a friend, just anybody that you know you may not have any communication with or little to no communication so let's go ahead and get started so keep in mind that this is for entertainment purposes only and is not at all to substitute for any legal financial medical or any other type of advice given to you by a qualified professional free will is a way of life and we're all control of our own destinies in the end let's go ahead and get started so i do have three piles as usual so one two and three pick whatever you feel the most drawn to or you can um pick all if you're drawn to all of them you can pick more than one you can pick two just whatever you feel the most guided to do and if you would like personalized readings or to contact me or anything like that everything is going to be listed down below it's also going to be on my channel banner as well so let's go ahead and get started with pile number one all right pile number one let's see why there is no communication or lack of communication. So the first thing we have here is committed. So it looks like they are committed to something, maybe some type of goal. Maybe they have other obligations. Now with committed, and I know you see that it has, you know, a couple holding hands. Now it does not have to be that they are with another person. When it comes to this, it, again, it could just be something that is keeping them distracted, something that is keeping them busy and something that is taking up all their attention to the point where they either have little time to get back to you or none at all. Um, and I feel like for some of you, this is just this person wanting to be committed to talking to you, wanting to give you more attention, but something else is kind of sucking them dry from being able to do that, if that makes sense. So um, for some of you now, it can be that they are involved with another person and they're kind of putting more attention into kind of working that out. Um, but take it as it resonates. So lonely. So this kind of validates that it is not because of another person. They are spending most of their time alone, alone, kind of doing whatever this is. Um, and for example, it could even be video games or, um, you know, work or some type of hobby, something that they're interested in that is kind of like, you know what, I need to focus on this and, not you know the person but they definitely are spending most of this time if not all of it by themselves uh so that's a good thing at least you know it kind of you know lets you know that it's not a person for some of you so we have creative yeah they're busy getting creative and i feel like they want to take a creative approach into um kind of getting back into the swing of communicating with you and you know dating and things like that i feel like they are in a very creative zone right now and some of you you're dealing with a person that feels that they cannot be creative when they are dealing with people or just dealing with things that they feel like not saying that you're in the way but saying that they again they're in their zone when they are working alone type of thing okay so we have emotional healing so it looks like this person is trying to heal, um, whether it's their emotions or whether it's just in general, they're kind of, again, and when we're going through healing and self-reflection, a lot of the time we do kind of distance ourselves. And the thing is, is that that is healthy to do. Um, so again, don't take anything personally when it comes to the lack of communication. Now, if you are talking to this person right now and moving forward there can be a lack of communication so look at it that way and just kind of this is an energy check-in so this will be why they are not talking now or talking less um and yeah i feel like their heart is in the right place and i feel like they don't want to drag you uh when it comes drag you into them trying to heal and drag you into you know them trying to get rid of baggage and stuff like that that has to do with them and them alone um, but yeah, they definitely, with this lonely, they do miss interactions with you or just with even people in general, and they're going to get back to that, but they definitely may need a little bit more time. We have embrace. 
So this is something, I don't know, maybe this person has done this before to you or even just people in general um, or people they have dated before in the past or again, however you see this, whether it's a romantic or romance interest or whatever it is, um, it looks like that this is something that you may have to accept from them. When they go through healing, they like to do it by themselves. Um, their heart is definitely open up. I'm feeling called to look at this gemstone. I guess that's a gemstone um, on this person's heart here. And it's green. Um, and I feel like they do want you to kind of, they want you, they're hoping that you can be forgiving in regards to them kind of either taking their time or not communicating at all. But they also need acceptance because this is how they get from time to time. It's not just one time. So even if this is the first time, just expect it to maybe happen again. And then maybe this lonely energy could also be you. And this creative energy could also be just advice for those of you watching this pile to kind of get creative and get distracted and maybe do a little bit of emotional healing on your own accepting the situation for what it is and um you don't have to wait around but the advice here is to wait for some of you because it's not even a matter of this person not being interested because they are it's just again certain things they go through by themselves so um i'm going to be pulling some cards um whoa okay let's see I'm using the, um, I don't know why I keep wanting to say modern witch tarot. Maybe I should have used that. Um, but I felt more drawn to use the everyday witch tarot. So, um, but yeah, I feel very great energy in this pile here I just feel like again not to take things personally and maybe this is a blessing in disguise as well because with embrace here it lets me know that when you do guys when you guys do start talking again and it's gonna be more full force abstinence makes the heart grow fonder so they're gonna be you know more talkative um and it's kind of going to be like, you know, new love, if you will. And I don't know why I'm hearing Sunday. So maybe a Sunday is the last day that you talk to them or heard from them. Or maybe for some of you, that is when you may hear from someone, um, hear from this person. Um, again, what time frames keep in mind that it is... Um, estimates or possibilities as due to the gift of free will um timing can change prolong not happen at all you know things like that so pile one okay what is that i can't see uh six of pentacles yeah so they're going to be more generous uh moving forward they have a lot to offer at the time that they do communicate with you Okay, nine of pentacles. Wow, things coming into fruition to you in regards to this connection. Um, and more so because of this space, they're going to feel like they have a lot to make up to you because of that. So um, get ready to communicate with this person. I'm feeling you being more comfortable to share your thoughts and opinions. You being more comfortable to even be, you know, flirtatious and to really um just be all in so yeah wow that is this is an awesome pile <sighs> and if you guys are new to me I do not I'm not a reader that you're going to constantly get to hear what you want to hear but I do love being able to feel positive energy and be able to show you and tell you the things that you do want to hear but again it's only if i feel it see it and hear it if i don't feel it here and see it i'm not telling you whether it's a collective or whether it's a personal reading so do keep that in mind we have four of pentacles so stability protection um this person being 
not willing to share you is what I feel being maybe even a jealous type of energy here. They're not, they're hoping that you are not spending your time with someone else, but I feel like maybe at the same time they would understand, but they do hope that they are in some way protecting the connection here. Um, so yeah, protecting what's theirs. Um, and I feel like they're even maybe trying to secure, you know, a bag for you and for him, for them to share with you. So yeah. Um, and next I'm going to pull a couple of cards from, um, the I candy Oracle by V from V 11 crystals. If you're watching this V, thank you so much. I was gifted this deck from her. So I appreciate it very much. I use it a lot. Um, not as much as I used to, but more so in private readings nowadays, but, uh, but yeah, we're bringing it out today. So let's see. And I'm also hearing that I hope they hope that you're not bored with them yet as well. And this was before I even pulled that. So we have the embrace card here. Oh, wow. Not embrace, but endurance, endurance, embrace. And from a distance, they look the same. But anyways, so yeah, endurance endurance is in a way kind of like embrace if you really think about it but um yeah pretty much they're hoping that you'll be willing to kind of and i'm gonna do one more from this deck for to just not let some like they don't want you to drift away from them because you see how the powder is not like not powder, but I believe that's confection sugar, uh, powdered sugar. Um, I feel like this is them. They again, I feel like the sugar is paying attention to these cupcakes more so than this one here. You don't really see any coming onto this cupcake, is what I'm seeing. So, um, and again, I just feel like they they don't feel like you deserve to be put through, you know, having to wait around. Um, and they do realize that they could pay more attention was my point in saying the little scenario that I just gave you here with the cupcakes. Um, but again, they're going to come back full force and you are going to communicate again. So... alignment yeah so this person is trying to become in alignment with their true selves and that includes them trying to accept a whole lot of things as well within their life and within their love life especially um, but in order for them to do that they have to go through a the, some of this journey by themselves so that's the main message i've been getting here and then i'm gonna go ahead and pull a card from the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle by Aqua Moonlight. This was also a gift to me um, by, well, not B. I think B originally had this deck, but um, the person she gifted it to gifted it to me. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think so. Um, but Aqua Moonlight also has a channel, um, which is the person that created the deck. So let's see. I don't know why, but I'm also hearing that some of you oftentimes feel like this person is watching you or maybe you feel like you've seen them somewhere in the midst of this no contact. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to pull just two from here. Uh, intangible, dishonest, tricky. Okay. <sighs> Just take everything as it resonates, but I'm just giving you the rundown of what I currently feel very briefly. So keep that in mind. Holding on, obsessing, yeah. Uh, Four of Pentacles is about um, uh, possessiveness. So that could be them. Oh, I literally just said this. I literally just said this. So definitely you will hear from them at some point. 
um, intangible, dishonest, tricky. And I feel like maybe this is what you are thinking about them. Maybe you're feeling like that's why they're kind of, you know, not communicating with you or a lack thereof. But um, intangible means kind of hard to get a hold hard of hard to get a hold of basically so maybe you have been reaching reaching out to them possibly and maybe they're giving you excuses or something or maybe they possibly have been reaching out and maybe you have been ignoring them for some reason but um but yeah Yeah, this is a beautiful pile for the most part. Um, but yeah, so that is what I feel for pile number one. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on your bell so that you can be notified each time that I upload a video or um, a premiere or anything. So yeah, I wish you guys love and light. Thanks for tuning in and I hope we can connect in the next one. Take care. Welcome to those of you who have picked pile number two. This is a reading in regards to why communication is either slow or maybe you're not talking to someone at all so let's see for pile number two we have bummed so i feel like this could be your energy and this could be theirs as well where they feel as though like they want to talk to you they feel bad that they're not talking to you or maybe they feel like something didn't work out the way that they want it to for whatever reason and that could be affecting them not getting in touch with you. They may be going through something else. Or this could be about the connection itself. We have lessons. So yeah, something not going the way that they had hoped. Then maybe learning something the hard way. Competition that could mean other people. Uh, keeping their options open, I feel like maybe. Um, I feel like maybe you weren't official with this person. And maybe you were getting there or may, I feel I don't know I feel like there was potential in it but there's something about the connection that they felt was kind of a deal breaker whether it was you feeling that way about them or vice versa maybe both of you had mutual feelings maybe uh, you stopped talking to each other on mutual terms um, in competition like pile number one it was a different card but kind of almost the same message except for um it wasn't really directed towards other people for the most part, but it can be taken that way. So it's kind of the same thing with this one, um, almost. So um, just keeping their eyes open or maybe focused on something else that's dragging their attention away from you. Uh, we have holiday. Okay. So the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation retreat or holiday getaway. So I feel like maybe when this person is back in town or maybe... Um, I don't know. I feel like maybe you two not being in the same place physically. So I don't know if this is long distance, if it turned long distance, or if they could just be out of town for right now. Maybe it's you, whatever the case is. Um, yeah, it looks like, I feel like this is them actually. Yeah, it's other people, but I feel like it might be more so family um and for some of you i do feel like they do miss you and they do want to communicate with you or have more communication with you but they're kind of distracted with their family their friends kids if they have any things like that um we have change your focus so this is our five of cups and that's kind of like it's about sadness so you're asked being asked to kind of and maybe they are too being asked to kind of shift your focus to something else instead of focusing on um, or dwelling on not being able to communicate with each other. Because this is a situation where I feel like they want to, but they can't and they're distracted. Um, but it's within good reason. They're making time for friends and family and other things that they need to make time for to kind of, um, I feel like they're making up some family time or something. Um, but yeah, five of cups generally is about, I don't know why I picked that deck up is about, um, sadness, isolation, sometimes depression, but for most of you guys here, I feel like this is advice for the both of, for both parties here, you and them. Cause they're, even though they are with family, friends, whatever, 
they are still focused a great deal on you as well. Um, but yeah, so let's see. I'm going to pull a few cards from the Everyday Witch Tarot. And then a couple of other decks here. I don't, I'm hearing a message for you guys, not even, it may not even be about this connection, but Spirit is saying, um, are you being mindful of how you are spending your time? Something needs to change maybe around your environment or your mindset. And it could just be in relation to this message, basically. Um, so we have the magician. So manifestation, you being able to kind of manipulate the current so to speak manipulate doesn't have to be a negative term by the way um it just means fixing something to your i guess convenience whatever you want to call it but this is saying you have the tools and resources necessary to kind of maybe get communication back on the road and i feel like this is them as well where they have the phone they have the social medias whatever they need to get in touch with you but right now it's a matter of they can't not that they don't want to but they kind of have to be as though they kind of have to go as if they're off the grid type of thing so um okay so i just dropped a card on the floor I don't know if this came up reverse. I dropped it on the floor. It is the King of Cups, which is it's pretty much somebody coming in with an offer, which I feel like they are going to come in with an offer for you, uh, maybe to open up communication back up. But being that it is in reverse at this point, it's going to be delayed. So I, like pile one is patience, patience, patience. So, yeah, patience, patience, patience. Okay, I don't know what's with me wanting to drop cards all day. Okay, nine of swords. So this could be you in or them kind of you know not being able to sleep you're worried about each other you're yeah you guys are needing to distract yourselves and keep keep you know those negative things out of your mind um restless nights um yeah but i'm hearing that there's not much to really worry about um, so next we have the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle by Aqua Moonlight. She is a YouTuber as well. This was gifted to me by a subscriber. But yeah, this is a person that definitely misses uh being able to communicate with you i'm here in, okay i don't know why two cards keep avoiding blocking escaping pushing away and i feel like this is how maybe you feel it could be them as well um, but it, I feel like it's far from the case of what is happening. Um, even though it may feel like this, it feels like maybe they're avoiding you. Um, but before this card came out, what I was about to say, because I was hearing that this person, I heard, what are you not telling me? So I'm feeling like that is you, the, uh, the current here so I feel like maybe you feel like there's something they're not telling you and also again you feel like they are avoiding you pushing you away and kind of blocking and some of you may be blocked 
or unblocked it maybe that's why communication is like it is um But if, even if that's the case, that is something that they felt like they had to do and didn't want to do. Uh, so that's another message. Solitary, withdrawn, lonesome, single. So the good news is, kind of like pile one, is that they're... They're not out. They're not cheating on you, or like if this is a relationship, relationship where it's just you two and you're official, they are not cheating on you. They are most definitely by themselves, and they're really kind of withdrawn from even connecting with new people in that way. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, they have no desire to be with really people in general. I'm feeling that they're not a people person for the most part, but. Yes, they do want to be around you from time to time. Everybody has that person because I'm like that as well. I'm not a 100% people person. So what I do is I have, you know, a few people or that one person that I will hang out with and that I do enjoy seeing. But it's just like everybody else, I can, you know, be with them or not be with them and be fine. So, yeah. So that's that. And then the last card message will be coming from the Eye Candy Oracle by V Love and Crystals. Gift it to me from her. And I'm just going to pull a couple from this deck. And you can get, I'm pretty sure she's still selling um, the Eye Candy Oracle on her Etsy shop. Uh, I'll try to remember to link it down below. I'm hearing the word recess. So I'm hearing like somebody wants a break, not from the connection, but somebody wants a break from what they're doing now so that they can be with you and talk to you and have more time for you. Okay, so wow, there is our nine of swords again. Um, restless. Where are we? Restless. Yeah. And restless could also mean that they're working a lot as well. And sometimes when you work a lot, even though you may have time to hit somebody up, you can be so tired and out of it and not have enough energy to even send a message for five seconds or make a phone call. Um, so this person is just tired and maybe you could be tired as well. Maybe you're tired of waiting. Um, I feel, I feel like maybe some of you need to watch pile one as well. Cause it's almost, almost the same. It's a little different, but it does have its similarities. Nourishment. And I feel like this person is hoping that you are taking care of yourself. And they, like I said, you can get into the point where you feel like you have no energy and so they're trying to kind of replenish that um so that they can come back you know and do what they need to do so now uh, actually that is the end i thought i had to pull some more cards but um um, as far as like hearing from them and communicating with them again, I definitely do get that. But right now it's, it's like a need for space. Um, but they will, I do see communication opening back up or picking back up. And when I say picking back up, I mean, some of you could actually be communicating with this person or just not a lot. And some of you may not be talking to them at all. So, 
that is what I have for Pio number two. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and let me know what it is that you would like to see me do next on my channel as far as uh, readings and stuff go. If you'd like to contact me or purchase a reading, send donations or anything like that, everything is in the description box below. And yeah, I hope we can connect again in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and love and light. Welcome to those of you who have picked Pio number three. This is a reading in regards to... Um, while there is a lack of communication or none at all between somebody that you're thinking about, whoever it is, again, it does not have to be on a romantic level. It can be platonic. It can be family, anyone, but I know most are going to be gravitating towards the love aspect. So let's see perspective. So there's something deeper going on than what is on the surface um, I feel like you are looking from the outside looking in. So there is a lot that maybe this person is keeping from you, but it's in fear of judgment in fear of you not understanding in fear of you taking it the wrong way. Um, so that's one thing. Justice. Hmm. Maybe they could be going through something legal. Um, and maybe I feel like they just feel like there's not enough balance in their life at this time as well. Um, travel looks like they've been on the road and haven't had the proper chance or an appropriate being an appropriate timing where they can contact you. Um, I'm also hearing news travels fast, so you may be getting some news about them soon, if not hearing about them directly or hearing from them directly. Now, when I say news, it does not have to be bad news. It could literally just be anything about them, or maybe you may see something or whatever the case may be, and it could be even like spiritual messages from your, uh, from your spirit guys as well as, you know, the good news could be coming that way. Let's see. Walk away. Hmm. So travel and walk away, I feel like, goes hand in hand. Leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors to open up as a result. So I'm going to go on a limb and say that some of you are in a toxic connection with whoever this is. Um, and it could be maybe justice is coming up as maybe like things being one way street and things needing to be more balanced and... I feel like at some point, somebody is always justifying somebody's actions. Um, now, the perspective message of what I said there, I do still feel that in a sense. But definitely you guys needed to kind of get away from each other and to stop talking for a little bit, if not permanently. Trust. And we have zero. And I never point out that number, so I feel like the trust really isn't there between the both of you. Um, I feel like maybe so much has happened in the past to the point where even though you can be happy together, sometimes you can't fully enjoy yourself because you're constantly thinking about something that they've done before and you're wondering if they're going to do it again time and time and time again. Um, and neither one of you are willing to change your perspectives on that. Um I'm hearing to, this is our full card and I'm feeling that this is about you needing to trust that everything is how it is supposed to be right now. So whether it's communication or lack of communication or they're taking forever to reply right now, it is supposed to be this way. So up next, I'm going to be shuffling some cards from the... Uh, I don't know why I'm wanting to say wild offer an oracle and I don't even I do have that one. Oh, it is on my table. I'm not even looking at it. It's covered up on top of on the bottom of a, a few other decks. But um, so with that being said, maybe you guys are needing to kind of focus more on your personal journey, your spiritual journey without them at the moment. So we have three of pentacles, so teamwork, taking action, 
Um, I'm going to clarify that. But with three of pinnacles for the most part, the problem is that you two are not 100% willing to work together here. So that's what throws the connection off balance for the most part. And maybe you could be willing to work together, but because of the lack of trust um, and the lack of faith in one's ability to change, it kind of it kind of separates the two of you. And it makes you drift a little bit further apart. This is one of those connections that could work out and that could actually change. But I feel like one or both parties are very stubborn. And I feel like somebody has wanted to walk away before. Maybe both of you and maybe you have already had separations from each other. Um, but I feel like at some point there has to be, you know, the game has to end at some point. Page of Wands, Messenger... Um, I feel with this page of wands is that you, okay, somebody is this cat here and then I feel like this is possibly you and the person that you're inquiring about in this reading could be the cat and they're kind of you see how they're kind of looking at each other. They're still on the same path, but they're looking at each other from afar. Um, but with that, I get a vibe of straying away from what is meant for me. Because I feel like one or both parties here, whether it's you or them, they do feel like you are for them. But maybe they are taking on society opinions or just something that really doesn't even make sense that's keeping them away from you as well um so i'm going to get one more tarot card here and then we're going to do a couple of oracles Whew. okay so let's see knight of pentacles so whenever i see knights i do always just think of fighting for something. So, um, I do see one or both parties here being caring enough to fight for the connection, but I don't know. I'm feeling, I keep being dragged back to this here. The trust is what affects everything for the most part is the biggest issue. The lack of trust is what I feel. Um, so now I'm going to do a card from the Eye Candy Oracle by V from V Love and Crystal. And I'm hearing that this person has a lot of shadow work to do and maybe that could be you as well. And maybe kind of needing to like accept certain things within them. Like, well, not even accept, but acknowledging certain things. I feel like this is a person that doesn't often talk about problems. They just kind of pick up things where it left, where it leaves off. Um, and that's that. And that's why nothing ever gets fixed. And that's why the trust is lacking. And I feel like this person feels like, if this is not you feeling like this, I feel like this person feels as though they are risking something by trusting you. Or by trusting fully in the connection. Divination. Hmm. Well, you are watching this video. 
So, um, and a divination tool really doesn't even have to be like cards. It can definitely be just your intuition, spiritual insights in general. Maybe needing to, I feel like, get some affirmative, add some affirmative routines in regards to this connection or just in your life in general to kind of keep you balanced and aware of what is going on around you in the connection and just in general. Gossip. So remember how I said that there would be, you know, maybe they're taking on looking too much into or reading too much into things that other people have said or just gossip or just people talking in general about what relationships are about, what they're supposed to be. Um, there is validation of that. So maybe somebody is in their ear as well. But then again, like I also said, I don't forgot that I said that maybe um, you may hear something about them. So it could just be gossip and gossip oftentimes is not true or reliant. So whatever it is, whether it's good or bad news, take it with a grain of salt. Um, been feeling called to kind of um, give you guys one more card from the Eye Candy Oracle. twist it yeah so some of these things especially if they're bad things or things that can hurt your connection it is just all talk so um definitely just follow your intuition when it comes to hearing from people in regards to this person and now we have the unto truths of the heart oracle by aqua moonlight and this is a deck that i was gifted by a supporter um and this one card wants to fly out. Confessions, unexpected message, unveiling. Wow. So, yeah, justifications. So, wow. I wish I could shuffle more on camera so that you guys can see that I'm not just pulling cards to match each other. It is literally just happening that way. And you can expect this in a personal reading as well, sometimes, depending on the energy. But this happens a lot with me. So, um. But yeah, justice, confessions, maybe that could be some of the news coming as well or justification. And I specifically said that before. Justification. So yeah, confessions can be the good news from them directly as well. Or again, this can be confessions all brought to you by people that are just talking a lot of BS and making stuff up possibly, but just take it how you feel, whatever you feel the most connected to. Um, so yeah. Yeah. And that wraps up your reading as far as like hearing from them and things like that. Um, I don't know. I'm hearing more of hearing about them than hearing from them. If you do hear from them, I feel like it's going to be at a time where you've gotten too impatient and you may not even be wanting to hear from them by the time they do get back to you. Um, but with Page of Wands and everything, I say you will hear from them and have some type of communication for sure. Um, but first, it may start with just people saying stuff, other people. So that is what I have for pile number three. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you'd like to contact me, send donations, purchase private readings or anything like that. Everything is going to be in the description box below and on my channel banner. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I wish you love and light. Take care, stay safe, and I hope we can connect in the next one.